Welcome to the WPL Book Drop Podcast. Joining us today is Diane House. She is a library assistant in the youth department, a mom of twins, photographer, and a choose-your-own-adventure travel guide. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. Let's start today by letting our listeners get to know a little bit about you. How long have you been with the library? Uh, 26 years. I'll be starting 20, or 27 in September. Okay. Um, so what's your day-to-day work like at the library? What do you do? Um, I do story times and teacher units. We pull books for teachers and send them out to the schools. Um, just daily helping people out, helping people find books, helping kids find stuff. Mm-hmm. I did a uh, Choose Your Own Adventure uh, book club for fourth through sixth graders. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. You had like a regular group of kids meeting virtually this whole like school year? Maybe the school year or just the spring semester? Oh, uh, we did nine books. So that was nine weeks. And we had an author um, do a virtual visit with us. And then we did five more weeks of a game. And all of it was virtual. So, so with Choose Your Own Adventure, the kids pick how the story goes. Am I getting that right? Yes. Wow. You, you read the story to a certain point, and then you have choices to make. And so they had to choose which direction we were going to take. And if there was a tie, then we rolled a dice and let the dice choose which direction we went. Sounds like fun. Are you planning to do that again sometime in the future? Hopefully September. Okay, so if our listeners are wanting to join that group, look for that information in the fall. We'll yes. see if we can have that going again. Uh, One of the reasons that we have you on the podcast today is you help to plan the upcoming Teen Summer Library program. Can you tell us about what you have planned and when the program starts? Oh, we have a ton of things going on. It starts June 7th, so you can um, come in and you can call or come in and register for the events that you want to do. We have a downtown scavenger hunt, so you'll Uh, go around downtown and um, there'll be pictures and then you need to identify where these items are at so there you'll um, some things you'll see every day if you're downtown a lot other things will be a little bit harder to find so these are kind of like landmarks to Waterloo type of thing Uh, some are landmarks some are uh, just maybe a sign on a building We're going to have three winners drawn from the people that find the most items, and we'll draw three winners from that. Oh, cool. Okay, what do they win? I believe Amazon gift cards. Ooh, that's an incentive. Yeah. And that'll be through the month of June, starting June 7th. And then we're going to do a virtual art contest starting June 7th through the 30th. And you need to take a good, clear photograph of your artwork and email it. And you'll get that information when you come in. Um, Then at the end of June, all of these will be put onto a Google Doc. And then anyone can access that document and vote for their favorite artwork. Okay. So we're going to have two age categories and four art categories. So there'll be digital art, drawing, painting, and 3D art of any material. Wow, so what you want to use or how you like to express yourself, there are a lot of categories there and you can choose from and... Yes. Yeah. And then there'll be three winners from each category, so it'll be a lot. And do you know what the winners will get? I think all of the I think all of our prizes for teen this year are um, Amazon gift cards. All right. And the age ages for the teen program is 11 through 18. Great. And I know you've done the art um, contest in the past, and they have been really popular. Kids really submit some great stuff. So yeah. This, is, this year's a little bit different because all of it will be virtual. Yeah. So we won't have anything on display in the, in the library like we have in the past. Yeah. So. And then uh, 
Monday, June 14th and Tuesday, June 15th, they will come into the library to make some light up bookmarks. And they can do their own. Oh, that's neat. They can do their own patterns. They'll stitch the. Um, ah, what's the, I've lost my name here. They'll get a battery pack, they'll get a light that they'll hook up, and they'll stitch the um, wire however they want to. And then you'll be able to turn on your light up bookmark. Oh, that's super cute. So some of the lights are yellow, some of them are white. And then you can just make whatever pattern you want. And you do need to register for any of the activities that we're doing in the library because we have limited space. Sure, social distancing. We're still doing this social distancing even though um, masks aren't required anymore. We recommend that you wear them and we're still spacing people apart. Um, on June 22nd and the 23rd in the meeting rooms we'll be uh, doing make your own wands. Oh, like Harry Potter style wands. Yeah. So this is a uh, You'll take your stick, you'll have hot glue that you can put on there in any kind of pattern. We'll have beads available and you can decorate it any way you want to. Uh, there's paint available, there's different colors of paint. So, and then you can make your magic wand. Yeah, that'll be really fun. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than going to Disney World and spending $60 it's, on a wand. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. They're, they're, they're a lot of fun, so. Yeah. And then in July, July 1st through the 31st, we have a storybook character scavenger hunt and we have painted characters and those will, <clears throat> excuse me, be on display in different businesses' windows. Mm -hmm. So you need to go around downtown and look for those pictures and then identify which picture is with which business. And then the voting for the art contest will be July 12th through the 31st. Okay. And on July 7th, you can come in and make a fairy house or fairy furniture. I don't have an example of any of that with me today. But uh, we will do that in the garage. And it's going to be messy. Yeah. You'll, you'll make your own clay. So we'll be using flour and water, sand and glue, mixing this concoction together and... Uh, you can use the clay to build your house. You can, we'll have sticks, twine, cool. get creative. I'll have some examples. And yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. So, so the three things that you have to register for because you're coming into the library is the light up bookmark, the wand, and the fairy house. Okay. So um, we'll just tell our listeners that the information for the teen summer library program will be on our website very soon i think it's may 25th and then you'll also find more information about our events on our facebook page do you have any last words about the teen summer program i think that covered everything all right so let's take some time to spotlight some youth and teen titles that you've brought along today what can you recommend for our younger readers okay well my favorite style of book genre is fantasy, um, magic, uh, the adult books, murder mysteries. Um, so one of my favorite series is the Spiderwick Chronicles. And it's about a family of three kids and their mom that moved to this old house in the middle of nowhere. It belonged to her uncle or great uncle and uh, one of the kids finds a book and opens it and accidentally releases magic that has been securely locked up. So they run into all kinds of problems with trying to figure out how to keep the fairy world safe and keep the human world safe and it sounds like keep a lot things of fun. separated. It's, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Pandora's yeah. box. <laughs> yes. And one of the other series that I love is The Ranger's Apprentice. It's about uh, if you like knights and 
medieval type stories. Um, this one is, um, it's about a boy named Will and he's always wanted to go to battle school and he's an orphan and um, he ends up getting going to the school and trying to try out different things that he wants to do and ends up uh, being a ranger's apprentice instead of what he thought he always wanted to do so that's a that's a great series those are in the uh, youth department okay. for our younger readers and for teen fiction this one is let the sky fall I guess I should have listed the authors. This is Sharon Messenger. And this one is, um, I'll just read the, the cover. Vane Weston should have died in the Category 5 tornado that killed his parents. Instead, he woke up in a pile of rubble with no memories of his past except a beautiful dark-haired girl standing in the winds. She's swept through his dreams ever since, and he clings to the hope that she's real. Audra is real, but she isn't human. She's a sliff, an air elemental who can walk on the wind, translate its alluring songs, even twist it into a weapon. She's also a guardian, Vane's guardian, and has sworn an oath to protect him at all costs. When a hasty mistake reveals their location to an enemy who murdered both their families, Audrey has just days to help Vane unlock his memories. And as the storm winds gather, Audra and Vane starts to realize the greatest danger might not be the warriors coming to destroy them, but the forbidden romance growing between them. Oh. So, and that's a series. And another series, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I love magic, hence the wands. This is a, um, I'm trying to find the, the series title. The title of the book is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. And this one is The world is trying to kill Lily Proctor. Her life threatening allergies make it increasingly difficult for her to live a normal life. And after completely hum a completely humiliating incident ruins her first and perhaps only real party, she's ready to disappear. And then she hears these words, come and be the most powerful person in the world. Suddenly, Lily finds herself in a different Salem, one overrun with monsters ruled by powerful women, including Lillian, this world's version of Lily. Hmm. So it will be terrifying it was for me. What made Lily weak at home makes her extraordinary here. It puts her in terrible danger, faced with new responsibilities she can barely understand in a love she never expected. Lily is left with one question. How can she be the savior of this world when she is literally her own worst enemy? Interesting. So those are some of my favorite series. So Sounds like some good titles for our readers. Well, Diane, I want to thank you so much for joining us today on the WPL Book Drop podcast. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you for asking me. It was fun.